Very briefly, uh, when Secretary General Kofi Annan spoke about climate and health, I want to note that yesterday we had a meeting of world scientific leaders exactly on that challenge here at the Earth Institute because climate change is changing the patterns of disease transmission. Of course, malaria, many other tropical diseases are spreading in the range because of higher temperatures, but also changing rainfall patterns. Dry spells, droughts can have a major impact on other diseases like uh, uh, meningitis uh, in the Sahel of Africa, which is a dry season disease and the spread of uh, other kinds of pathogens. And this is only beginning to be understood how all the disease patterns and emerging diseases will be affected by climate change. And of course, uh, uh, Secretary General Kofi Annan also mentioned uh, climate and food and there this dual uh, paradox again that uh, wondrous technologies for raising food production but growing risks of drought, uh, water stress, temperature stress, new pest infestations, which are also gravely damaging. And today I would uh, uh, note for you a, an article in the New York Times on page A6, which exemplifies the world situation in a way, it encapsulates it in one specific uh, fascinating and troubling case, and that is the story of uh, Chile's aquaculture carried in a long article in the New York Times, very well done today, talking about the disease in the fish farming in Chile, and it raises all sorts of issues. We depend on aquaculture to ease the pressure on the oceans if the aquaculture is done right, yet aquaculture as a new technology poses new environmental challenges, and it's completely global in the challenge as well. Not only is the U.S. the main market for the fish uh, that are being infected with this new virus, but also to fight the virus, the Chilean fish farmers are using massive amounts of antibiotics, which are showing up in the U.S. food supply and also affecting perhaps the global development of resistance. So don't believe that any single problem we're facing can ever be solved within national boundaries anymore. These are all global problems inherently. You touch any problem, pull the thread, the whole world through international trade, spread of pathogens, climate change, are all involved. And that is the mindset and institution problem that is so hard for us to deal with.